So, Dhul Qarnayn says, Whatever Allah has given me is better than your money. I don't need your money. I don't need your money. I will do it fi sabilillahi ta'ala. I will do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what I need from you, fa'ainuni bi quwwatin. You help me with your manpower. I need a lot of help for what I'm about to do. My army won't suffice me. You help me with your physical strength. Fa'ainuni bi quwwah. I don't need your money. I don't need your gifts. You come and work with my army. Fa'ainuni bi quwwatin. Aj'al baynakum baynahum radama. I will make a radam. Now in Arabic, the word radam uh, is very similar to sed, but radam is a more fortified sed. So look, they asked for build a sed between us and them. Right? Bainana bainahum sadda. Dhul Qarnayn said, I will build something even better. I will build a radam. And a radam, uh, it's, uh, there is no English equivalent, but it's like a fortified dam. It's like a, a, a barrier that has been fortified. So Dhul Qarnayn said, I will do something even better than this. So Dhul Qarnayn says, Atuni Zubar al Hadid. Bring me uh, pieces of iron or sheets of iron. Zubar is the uh, nuggets, if you like, nuggets of iron. Bring me iron. Hatta idha sawa bayna sadafain. When he had laid it between the two mountains. So he's building a type of barrier with iron, which is right now cold. He said, blow. And the blowing here is with the bellows, with the fire. So once he's put the iron there, a massive fire is being built. A fire that is so hot that all of this iron will become molten ore and stick together. So this is the help that he needs from these people. Allah knows how they built such a large fire. Allah knows what they did. But Dhul Qarnayn had the technology to do that. Until when he had made it fire, meaning when he had made the iron as hot as fire. Until the iron had become so hot, it becomes ore. He said, now bring me qitr and qitr is molten copper. So the, uh, the, the radim that he built, it is composed of iron and copper. It is composed of iron and copper and it was so massive that it is between two mountains. So apparently the people of Ya'juj and Ma'juj were trapped inside an area where they had no escape out of. And Allah says in the Quran, an wa they could neither climb over it, nor could they dig underneath it. This is really what it translates into. They couldn't uh, go on top of it. Nor could they dig a hole, nor could they go underneath it. And then Dhul Qarnayn said, This is a mercy from my Lord. And according to one interpreter, he actually fell into sajda, thanking Allah that he was able to do this. So this shows us Dhul Qarnayn realized how evil Ya'juj and Ma'juj are, and he thanked Allah for blocking them up.